Hello. So now you really can't see my face. This looks like a good position for the guitar, though. I don't know. Maybe I should move the table back a bit. I don't care. Tried to sleep, but I couldn't. Right, we're using a pick. for this. I just like to skip ahead to this because this is what I really need to learn. something so frustrating that at first it's so frustrating then you spend like two or three days on it and it works that is really weird it's it's what makes me think part of this is magic pick. And these are 50 cents each.
I don't know. So then... Fingers hurting already. Good sign. So we're always on the sixth string. That's what I was wondering about. Uh, but anyways, let's go back to, I wanted to say, okay, so this is E minor, and I don't know why we start with E minor, except it's easiest. to these chords. So now we're going to do the D's. Uh, D7. It's a lot easier to, I'm figuring my strumming in the previous video was really bad because it was the first time using the pick. Uh, but I'm figuring out the strumming and uh, strumming uh, something that is muted twice is a lot easier. Well, just for kicks, let's um, let's do G minor. <laughs> yeah. So if that's I basically couldn't strum G minor, but that's G minor. And you might be saying to yourself, I don't know if you can see my head, but his head keeps looking uh, left and right, he's making sure everything's right in place. You should be able to do it without looking. True, ideally, but um, the reason why I'm looking left and right is so I can learn how to do that. I don't know if that's incredibly obvious and I just wasted your time talking about it, but sorry about that. So 
eleven. And I'm getting a lot more solid notes out of this with the pick. it's small but the small has limitations and I was wondering why people have so many picks but I, I bet it can get some wear and tear anyways uh, that was D major Start with C7 because it's the hardest of the C's in my opinion. And the thing is, we can reach down all the way down here, where it hurts. Then my index finger is left hanging. <laughs> fingers are feeling the pain and uh, C major I think this is what you called open-handed I don't know what open-handed means but my hand is open by placing my fingers in this way so uh, yes this is C major apparently, I think my friend said it was some kind of jazz pick, but I don't know. I don't want to play jazz. Well, maybe I do, but... Um, Oh, my legs are still crossed when they don't need to be crossed. If we step out of our, my chair a bit. Uh, so did we do all the C's? C, 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 C. Of course we have C major 7, which is part of our little song. Thank you. 
minor lost when I was announcing and then we did uh, C major 7 and that's all the C's and now we do the G's and I was skipping ahead a bit because I was just fooling around which is allowed. Encouraged in fact. This feels rude. Look how weird my fingers are. Okay. G6. Then we do the B chord. We push down with our other finger. Push, push, push. That's not going to work. Something... Oh! Could it be terrible pain? Yes. Yes, it is terrible pain. 
and I should have a good night's sleep before practicing after I have the terrible pain. Uh, <laughs> anyways. chart. Uh, okay, so I don't think this will hurt my arm too much to do this. having to look both ways to do that, so that explains why it's so slow. Okay. I'm going to collapse. Okay, that's all we do for today, just 23 minutes. I know I want to go longer, but my arm is seriously in need of some rest, and I'm not going to the hospital and telling them, you know. <laughs>